The Victoria woman was a veritable industry of underwear. The silhouette they were going for was the big puffy skirt, so puffy and so to the ground that you could never see a woman's ankle, which is a good thing because the ankle is the most erotic part of a woman's body. They want the big puffy skirt, the teeny tiny waist and the rigid bosom. Nothing must move on a lady apart from her face. And the way you achieve this is through a huge amount of underwear, great big petticoats, the crinoline, the actual sort of hoop that makes a hoop skirt, that doesn't really come in in 1840. So great big petticoats and this teeny tiny corset over a chemise which protects the body from the corset. And the corset is absolutely vital to any Victorian woman, any good Victorian woman. It is tight, it is painful, because what you have is you have it, so it comes about here, then you've got the shoulder straps, and then the way in which it flattens the stomach is through a piece of wood. Whalebone isn't in yet. So you've got this wood flat your stomach then pulled really tight it's a very very painful item to wear women well they certainly can't run it makes it difficult to walk they're often out of breath it is not good for your internal organs but who cares with the corset you look fabulous with your tiny 20 inch waist you look fabulous and most of all you look respectable